During the last couple of decades, uh, the world has witnessed unprecedented levels of economic growth. Within that model, a lot of companies have used resources from the natural environment without necessarily paying the full cost for them. As a result, many of them used or overused or even abused a lot of the resources in our natural environment. A couple of decades afterwards, we are living and we're progressing into a world where we are either running out of resources, think about water, for example, or we're using resources like oil and coal that contribute towards carbon emissions. In fact, the world would be a better place if a lot of those resources actually stayed in the ground. So the big question becomes, how do these big companies or the big companies of the future manage to adjust or adapt their business models to deal with using fewer of these resources or using alternative resources in order to generate the level of human development and progress that we have witnessed in the last couple of decades. Innovation in the business model itself is going to be critical because as much as we think of uh, resources in a material way, the fundamental question is can the overarching structure, in other words, can the business model remain profitable, remain sustainable while using alternative resources, while perhaps reusing or recycling the existing resources. That's where innovation comes in. Therefore, resource scarcity is forcing managers to essentially rethink not only the economic context in which they are competing, but indeed the environmental context in which their businesses uh, operate. No one company alone, no matter how big it is, can solve these challenges. Indeed, challenges like climate change will require unprecedented levels of collaboration, and unfortunately, we haven't seen uh, yet too much of it happening. Indeed, we have seen a lot of failures, particularly when we talk about politics and the ability of governments to come together in order to address these big issues. So the first step towards building up these effective collaborations is to work on the trust issue. And that goes from the firm level all the way to the governmental level. Secondly, we have the issue of, of language. The language is going to be an important tool that in conjunction with trust can align objectives, can align goals, can translate goals and objectives across different contexts. Having built trust in a common language, the third uh, foundation would be an adoption of a time horizon that is relevant both for the problems that are being addressed as well as the stakeholders that are part of any collaboration. The reason why the world was led to a resource scarcity was the linear economy, a model of production in which inputs go into the production process that results in some products that at the end of their uh, useful economic lifetime, they were either burned in landfills or just treated as waste. However, in this new world, the things are no longer linear. In other words, uh, companies through their innovative uh, models in collaboration, of course, with governments and their communities have developed models of production that are able to reuse, to recycle and indeed design products that are not meant to be burned or wasted at the end. These are products upon which we can recover raw materials, we can recover those resources and use them again and again and again. This is known as the circular economy or the circular model. For us humans, this might sound something brand new. However, this is a process that has been implemented in nature for millions of years. The waste of one process becomes the input of another and another and another in an infinite cycle where the materials are being recycled and reused. In other words, the linear system of the past was suffering from a lack of balance. Now that the system has been reformed, now that the resources are continuously being reused, then perhaps not only we leave the world in a same state, but perhaps, perhaps we can even claim that we leave the, the world in even a better place than when we found it. A lot of my work focuses on the link between sustainability and uh, capital markets. I think the key takeaway from all the, from the work is that capital markets have a key role to play in terms of allocating funds towards more sustainable companies within the broader social and environmental context. We see an engagement of the capital markets with the sustainability issue, an increased sophistication in terms of how they evaluate and assess sustainable companies, and that's exactly why I think that companies in collaboration with capital markets are going to lead on the path to a sustainable future.